It's no secret that some creatures are stronger than others. With over 307 creatures, this should be expected. But they should not almost be impossible to take down. The crazy thing to me is that it's only because of these four points that it's almost impossible to kill. The first point literally counters every tier 4 and under, all because every single one relies on ailments. Let me explain. This is a Pernyrex. We rely on packs. And we rely on bleed. There we go, there we go. I got it. I got a cat. I got it. There we go. Bleed disables your health regen, but not only that, it takes away your health. And there's many more creatures like that. This is a Sotri, and it relies on the same exact system, but different. Which lowers your health regen and gives me damage. It also gives you Ashy Lung, which lowers your stamina regen. Now let's see how well you do against this system with all your bleed. Come on, cat. Go for me. You can do it. Here, I'll even lay down for you. You're not even doing bleed, do you know why? This thing is completely immune to all ailments. You can have deep wounds, but it, it doesn't do anything. When I say that this thing is immune to all ailments, I mean each and every single one. It's absolutely absurd. Not a single Sotri, not a Pernyrex, not a Sigma Tox can inflict anything on this, even on injury. It's insane. And the best part is, I can easily just get you. Easily. I do a lot of damage. I don't know what, how much I do, but <laughs> I do a lot. There you go. But the next point is what makes it truly dangerous. See, many people would say moving around as this creature is painful enough. It's too slow. Don't you think that it's a semi-aquatic? Meaning that it can swim. Is it almost as fast as Cyrodon? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> it is quite- it's pretty fast for a giant castle. Now let's see how well it does against other tier 5 aquatics. We're doing battles as this castle in places where we shouldn't battle in the first place. Cat! Oh, you have an aggro buff? That's not fair! What? I do more damage than a Cyro, are you kidding me? That is- <laughs> Your ailments are not really working, cat. What are you doing? The only thing is funky is the hitbox. Hitbox is very bad. Dude, there's absolutely no way. You're actually trying to avoid my hits as well. What? How in the world are you... Are you gonna die? You're gonna die. You don't fall. The injury that you bite... When you bite me, you get injury. That's not really helping you either, is it? Oh my lord. There's no way that this thing just won against a full on aquatic. There's only one thing that I think that can possibly beat it, and that's a magnet. Cat. If this thing can beat a magna, I'm gonna be very concerned because there's still two points that I gotta go over. Come at me, cat. Come at me. Oh no, I'm definitely attacking you. I don't know who's doing more damage. I can't tell. I think you might be doing more damage than me. Yeah, you're definitely doing more damage. You're definitely doing more damage. I don't think this thing is gonna win against a magna in his own little <laughs> ground. I can barely hit you. That's so hard. Hitbox is very hard with this thing. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna fight against the Magna with this thing. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna beat you. There's no way I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> what? Do you think I will be able to run in time? <laughs> I don't know either. I mean, like, you don't do injury, so it should be good. Oh, man. Oh, this is gonna be a close call. If I can run, then I, then I see this as a win. Oh, no. I think I might die here. Is it gonna live? Oh, this is gonna be a close call. Oh man, that's gonna be so close. Oh, I died. I defeated one aquatic on their own ground. That's insane. And there's still two points which makes this walking castle insanely strong. Just if you see a magna, don't go for it. You're not gonna win. This next trade helps you literally kill almost every single land and sky creature out there. And with everything, I mean literally everything. Cat, is that a fully grown one? Alrighty, let- just go for me. I wanna show them what I mean by this one. Just try and bite me, whatever you want. You do a whopping 137 damage. That's pathetic. That's really pathetic. <laughs> You're not gonna win this, and it's all because of weight. This thing has an insane 40,000 weight. Well, so Requastic only has 7,500 or something like that, very close. Which means you can't do any damage to me. The more weight you have on top of someone's weight, the more damage you will do. And the less damage they will do to you. This thing's weight is insane. I mean, you saw it with the Magna, the Rayquazoc, but now let's compare it to a creature that is more similar to the Golrakov, the Yugdrag. It shares most of its abilities, but take a look at these stat comparisons. It is 
really, really similar, but oh my, the gold rug golf is so much stronger. Let's see if the new can beat the old. The yug is so old. I really hope that the yug wins, but I have very low hopes because of the weight. Oh man, you're barely- oh, emojis again. I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm barely doing anything to you. This is the longest battle ever. And here- are you regen what? Here we go. There we go. You're gold. This thing absolutely obliterates a yug drag. It's not even funny anymore. And there's so much more to this creature. It's insane. Pack Healer and Keen Observer are so useful, for example. The only thing that this thing doesn't have that the Yug Drag has is Area Food Restore and maybe Tail Web if you class it as anything. And before we go to the last thing which makes this creature unstoppable, I want to show you guys something cool because there's actually text right here. Sonarian text. And if you move this text through the Sonarian Converter, we will get that it means Ruin. I don't know, I thought it was just an interesting fact to throw in there. Anyways, let's go to the fourth thing that makes this thing almost impossible to beat. And there is one of them, the Garticus, the one million mushroom T-Rex. Let's see how it holds up against a giant castle. I think it might actually hold up fine, not gonna lie. I think I, I might get obliterated here. I might have picked my opponent quite poorly. But your damage seems to be very low actually, wait a second. The castle is holding up very good against that thing. That's insane. Wait, can you get a Corothals? Dude, it looks so cool, what in the world? We're gonna wait for one more creature that is insanely strong and then I'll tell you what it is. The final opponent is waiting. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna survive this one. This is gonna be an entertaining fight. That's for sure. Let's go. <laughs> oh, you're doing a lot more damage. Yeah, I'm not winning this one. I'm really not winning this one. Oh, <laughs> this is not it. This is not it for this creature. Don't fight against the Koran. It can pick me up. What? What do you mean? That is insane. Why can you pick me up? Oh, I can't spin around. I can't spin around. I'm still doing some damage, but it's nearly not even enough. It's nearly not enough. What? Dude, Karafas is strong. Karafas is so strong. <laughs> that is absurd. What in the world? Yeah, but what it is what? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, we're just gonna go over the last thing. As you can see, it has insane HP, which saved it for a long time, but we still lost. So there's one more thing we can do to make these four points even better, and that is plushies. There's so many plushies that you can try, the Pig Lantern, the Ember Spirit, the Jemmy Slug, they all add super cool effects. This plushie is one of the strongest and I'll show you in a second why. I'm pretty sure you're confused why you would add a plushie with minus 25% stamina regen. If we go into the water, we get a Agile Swimmer, which adds plus 100% stamina regen, plus 15% oxygen, plus 50 stamina, plus 75% sprint speed, and plus 75% walk speed. The buffs are insane, and it makes this creature so much faster in the water. And with Jammy Slug, which disables everyone's abilities, is super overpowered. You can use so many plushies to make this creature so strong, and that is why this creature is almost impossible to kill. The only things that have been able to kill it is a Corophos, which is the strongest creature in the game. A Magnesitus, probably a Boreal Warden, some Wardens will probably be able to kill it, but you need some heavy duty creatures to be able to get this one down. Now I'm pretty sure you want to get one yourself now, so I'm gonna give one of these species away to you guys, but before we get there, I'm gonna try and trade for one to see how expensive it truly is. This person is trading one, I'm just gonna offer 15,000, no one has it, absolutely no one. So I'm just gonna go for 15,000. There you go. Are you gonna do this? Cancelled! Please accept this. What? He cancelled? What? Okay, since this is not working out, I'm gonna gamble all my money away. <laughs> Okay, another way to get it besides trading, which uh, we feel miserably at, is clicking inventory, then going to currency, and then getting a lot of these points. So with 8,000 we get 10, but the royalty gacha is 20, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's 10! Oh, we're, we're right, we're right. Okay, we're gonna gamble away. We're gonna gamble away. This is not gonna go well. I hope it's gonna go well. Please give us a goal. An Empyterium, no. <laughs> no. Please! Oh, it's gonna be a gamble simulator thing. This is not gonna go well. <gasps> we got one! Okay. 
I'm going to be giving that one away to you guys. All you have to do to win the Golgorov is leave down your username and subscribe. If you want to see me survive as the moving castle, make sure to click this video and comment it down there below. See ya.